To end the channel, we're going to upgrade my Chips and Greeny and put in these custom TN Tones Green Machine pickups. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Recently I posted a video where I purchased this uh, Chipson Greeny for $339 off of eBay and I did a demo. I'll put that link in the description of the video for you to watch in case you missed that video. But today we are going to upgrade the Chipson. I have got these custom uh, green machine pickups wired by hand wired by TN Tones. Uh, those guys are great. I'll put the link for their site in my description as well. Recently they sent me some uh, really awesome Van Halen style wound pickups for my pink uh, kit build. I did a pink uh, Gibson Les Paul custom kit that came out wonderful. I'll also post that video in the description. But today we're going to take these pickups out and we're going to wire in these TN Tones custom wound pickups. These are A2 Alnico 2 pickups and they are supposed to be wound like the greeny pickups where the neck is going to be out of phase when it's in the middle position like the greeny itself and uh, it'll sound hopefully just like the greeny that's what we're going for so this will be like an authentic greeny I have uh, replaced the the knobs on the prior video with Gibson knobs and I've got some CTS pots already in the back. I'll show that here in just a moment, but I had some uh, I had some uh, extra CTS pots in my supplies, so I was able to get those CTS larger pots installed. They were really, really tiny. The original pots that were were in this uh, guitar that it came with were these really small, uh, really tiny, tiny pots. So I put the uh, larger 500k CTS pots in there. Uh, after we do this pickup upgrade, I'm going to see about replacing this bridge. Bridge is okay, but I've had some issues raising and lowering this side. If you look down in there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a small Allen wrench that fits down in that ABR style bridge. And uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't smoothly raise or lower the bridge. Um, I stain this a little bit to make this... Uh, this stand out a little bit more, this wear mark. And I've also, one thing I did is I added a little bit of relicking on the guitar. It came like this, it came relicked, uh, but uh, I added some more, a little bit more relicking to it. The neck, neck looks eh, not so great. I relic that. Uh, I've kind of did a fake, fake uh, <laughs> scratch on the headstock where the uh, headstock break was supposed to be. Just having fun, man. Just having some fun with this. But I'll probably relic this neck a little bit more and make it look uh, better than that. But I'm just starting that process. I'll take the back cavity off and I will show the, uh, the pots uh, that I replaced the small pots with, the CTS pots, and we'll put these, uh, these green machines in there. All right, so taking a look at the inside of the cavity here, there's the uh, CTS pots. These were used. They came out of a uh, inspired by Gibson Epiphone uh, that that I had uh, worked on before. But these are much nicer pots, very low friction. There's a better look at the uh, the back relicking. About 85% of this was done when I bought this Gibson from China. Again, the uh, video, the original unboxing and demo of this is in the description. If you want to take a look at the original condition of this and the full sound demo. In this video, we'll, we'll replace the pickups and we'll do a sound demo with the green machines. And there's a comparison video that you can look at to see the before and after.
All right, I got these pickups out of the guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the covers off of these and put them on the TN Tones pickups. So uh, it'll look more like the Greeny, and we'll reverse it like so when they're installed. I like these covers. I've got some chrome covers that are uh, that I was going to put on there instead of these, but these came, you know, they're scratched up. They're relict, so to speak, from... Uh, the chips in place. So I'm just going to keep these covers on the TN tones. So I'll, I will solder these. Well, unsolder, I should say. These are the solder points. So I'm going to try to get these covers off and see if they fit on the other ones okay. So we'll take care of that. Okay, we've got everything wired up and uh, let's give it a test and make sure we've got some signal coming from these pickups. So we got it in the, in the bridge position. All right, that sounds good. Let's turn the volume down. Sounds good. We'll do the tone. Yep, that works. All right, middle, middle position here. Everything looks good. All right, we're going to go into neck position. Cool, as far as volume is concerned. Sounds good. Let's see, check the tone. Tone works good. All right. Everything's great. She just needs to be restrung, and we're going to test out how these things sound. All right, here she is in all her glory. Got the green machine pickups installed. I'm gonna do a sound test. Check it out. Take a look at the back real quick. Flip this thing over. For the most part, I'd say this thing is done. I mean, pickup upgrades. Not that it really needed it, but those other pickups were a little bit, they were, they were okay in comparison to like my Murphy Lab Les Pauls. They sounded great. I didn't test them at full volume in like a rehearsal, rehearsal to see if they were microphonic or not, but these uh, El Nico 2 custom wound green machines should be awesome. Fingers crossed. So let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna run a little bit of a test here with my Fractal Axe 8. I'm running through Pro Tools in stereo. The delay and reverb is all through Pro Tools. So what I'm gonna do is run a clean setting, a gritty setting, and a really distorted setting, okay? We're gonna do neck pickup, bridge pickup, and then the middle out of phase position in each demo. So let's start with clean on a double verb setting on the Fractal Axe 8. <laughs>
Sir Badger. I'm going to do the Sir Badger setting. Neck pickup. to a Friedman, uh, let's go to the Friedman BE. All right, so this is uh, this is pretty heavy setting here. Let's go with this one. Neck pickup. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
hold back up. 